Welcome back to Smoky Ribs. I'm Russ Jones. Got a special show for you today. I've got two guys out of state of Louisiana. I got Mr. Robert LaPere from Bull Boss. He's out of New Orleans. I've got Mr. Keith Jenkins with Frogbone Cajun Sauces, and he is out of Madisonville. We're getting ready to show you how to do a fantastic Louisiana style crawfish bowl, and we got a lot of goodies going in here, so stay tuned. We'll be right back. Right, we're getting ready to fire this big pot up and uh, Keith is going to explain to you how to know if you got enough water because we got a lot of things going in this we got corn potatoes sausage green beans carrots we got a lot of stuff so explain to them how you determine how much water we need that's for all this sweet potato bubba that's sweet, sweet potato, potato going yeah. in okay if you never done if you're from Louisiana or anywhere else there that done crawfish you know about where how much water you're going to put in uh, it's just a basic natural thing, but if you've never done crawfish here, you got an 80 quart, uh, 100 quart, 120, 140, 160, and what size is this? Is a, this is a 160. This is a 160 uh, boiling pot here. So if you've never done it, like I said, take your basket, put your crawfish in it, and then put your water. You want about two and a half inches above your crawfish, depends on what size pot. And that will get that. Take your basket with the crawfish out, measure how much water is in there, because you might have to change that water and all. And make a line and remember that's how much water you put on every time if it's the first time use right uh, that's a basic uh i just so. took the uh paddle that we'll be using mm -hmm. and i stuck it the handle part of this in here i made a notch where in the future all i have to do is bring the water up to the notch i made in that handle perfect amount of water for this size pot yep and so uh so we're gonna roll with it um uh, get this um crawfish ball going and uh again russ Man, a pleasure to be back over there with yeah, you man. here in Biloxi. It's been a while, Keith. It's been. So uh, we've been getting a lot of requests for people doing videos together. So uh, we're here. Absolutely. And uh, we're going to make it happen. I don't know about you, but I'm getting hungry for the crawfish. Yeah, me too. we got to get this hey, thing well, going. I'll turn the gas on All right. if you want to light it. All right, we are getting ready to add in the seasonings for this ball, and we're going to be starting with what? Frog the home seafood ball. I mean, the whole way to go with it, right? That's it. That's what we're going to do. All right, a four pound bag right here. Um, we'll do a sack of crawfish, you know, with everything else. But we're adding so much extra other stuff there, more than a regular ball, we're going to add a little more extra to it there. So, uh, real good in flavor. Uh, you can check our website, www.frog ball.com. But other than that, there, um, this is going to be a bigger ball for us, huh, Russ? We're adding a lot of stuff to it. Oh, yeah. so, a lot of stuff. But like I said, it's a happy medium for everybody. So you can always add extra cayenne, Chinese red pepper, whatever. You, and that's what we're going to do. But anyway, we're going to start with that. Nothing but flavor there, partner. Nothing but flavor. So we're going to do a, we're going to put a half a bag, a bag and a half, basically, because we got the other stuff we're going to put in the pepper in. All right. It's a bag and a half of that. All right. Then um, we're gonna put some cayenne. We want the cayenne pepper in it. Sure. Could be just right because we got a lot of stuff going in it. Yeah. Another thing here, I love my frog bone Cajun pepper sauce to put in there. Just put a whole bottle of that baby in there. Ooh, oh indeed. man, give me a e. Yeah, so that's what I'm talking. Good flavor. Now this is something kind of hard to find. This is Chinese red pepper, and I had a guy commented on some of my previous videos, was telling me I really need to find this stuff. This so happens a place two, two blocks from me that sells crawfish. They use this, 
And so it, it's pretty potent. We're going to go about half of what you see here. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, if, if you had smell of vision, hey, in the future, I know it's coming. It got to be some kind of way. That's smelling good there. All right. Then we're going to put some liquid ball in. You can use Zatarans, Louisiana, whatever you want here. This is a, a blend that, um, secret, I can't tell. And no, we do not sell it. Uh, maybe in time future, but you don't have to add it, but we're going to put it here with our, our mix we got here. A couple little cups there. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And that really kicks up. Oh, yes, it does. Bay leaf. I don't know if you use bay leaf in your crawfish bowls. I personally think it adds a really good flavor to shrimp, crab, whatever. Those thing about bay leaves here as a kid younger in my grandmother's house, you know, red beans and rice is mandatory Mondays. Right. And I see them leaves in there, you know, she grandma was putting bay leaves, we didn't know. So I used to go outside to the oak tree, pick up the leaves out there and come on and stuff and put them in. I used to pile it up. And she what she do what is all she didn't know nothing about was it? Well, I seen you put it in, I just want to help out, Momo. So uh so we had oak leaves and bay leaves. So watch out little kids, uh Yes, indeed. We've done this. Didn't we do this before? Um, I've done it. Yeah, yeah, a lot I have done of my it. Bowls. Yes. Now, this is pickled jalapenos. Whole contents going in. That's right. These crawfish, as you can tell, will have some fire in them. And that's the way I like crawfish. My shrimp are a lot milder than this. My blue crabs are a lot milder. But crawfish, I want hot and spicy because you wash it down with cold beer. Right? That's right. We had, <laughs> today is a cold beer video we're going to do today. So, uh, Right, so I'm just going to ladle a little bit out. We're going to let it cool down for a few minutes. I'm going to give it a taste. And I'll be able to taste and see if it needs more salt or not. Normally it does because we have so much other things going into this other than the crawfish. Mm -hmm. All right, while you're doing that, Russ, uh, as you know, in 2014, we did uh, the hospice crawfish cook-off and uh, we gave up our recipe a puree and onions garlic and all the other good kind of stuff like celery and all that here so in this here uh we're doing a couple things we got some other stuff happening with this video um got some spice go onions ahead. go ahead go ahead good yeah I, I think we do need to add this okay because you want a little bit of definitely salt. got some spice oh my yeah. goodness but a little salt because like i said we got a lot of things going in this i got one cup uh, the Jacobson sea salt. Exactly. Our seafood ball is very low in salt and all that here. Like I said, it all depends on what a person uh, they are looking for. And like salt, we got to have, we got a corn. We need that little extra for what we're doing. And, and in the bag, it don't have that. So that's why we add an extra to get that flavor we're looking for. Exactly. So another thing here, um, what we're doing is taking onions. You can take, when you're doing a ball, take five pounds of onions, a little onion bag. And you want to cut them up and puree it like a margarita mix do that take a whole stalk of celery puree it a little water and blend it up here and what this is going to do is put a um, natural flavor into your ball mix so that is pureed celery we're putting that in paying for gold there, there you go. i want it all in there and here's the onion mix that's what it's going to look like right there and that's like going to onion margarita. Yeah, yeah, onion margarita. And that's going to put your natural flavor in with that. All right, you cannot have a crawfish bowl, really any kind of seafood bowl without citrus. We've got lemons and oranges going in. I got six of these oranges and probably around eight lemons cut in half. Oh yeah. Just squeeze your juice and drop it in. Good flavor. Well, I love this uh, our seafood ball with the uh, oranges. A great, great, great taste. We got all our flavor there. Now, what you need to do is your potatoes and your onions and your garlic. Uh, these go in now because it takes longer to uh, boil. So we're gonna boil for about that about 15 minutes. So what we got? You can take the whole bag of uh, number two red potatoes. You're gonna put that in there. Then uh, and here I have my onions and garlic. I got those all in the bag right there. Sink that in there. And I'll tell you what, if, if you have never had a sweet potato in a crawfish ball, you are missing out. So we got these one of those little small, nice little, they're not even mediums, I don't think here. They got a small in between the medium, but this is gonna put some really good flavor, that frog bone in there. And you're talking about real good. That's really good stuff. You can make a sweet potato casserole. Actually a, a Cajun sweet potato pie. Try it. That's the problem we put like oh, yeah. two, 
do be crazy with it. It's going to kick up the sweet potato pie. Oh, yes, it is. It <laughs> turned your uh, Thanksgiving dinner to a whole nother level. All right, so we're going to kick that up. And we need to boil for these uh, 12 good minutes on right. that here and there to get the potatoes good and soft. And get I guess the we need to put the lid on and crank it up a little yep, bit. Yep, we're right? going to do like that. Let's roll with it. Okay. Well, we forgot one thing that needs to go in kind of early, and that, that would be carrots. I've never actually done carrots in a bowl, but a lot of people do. So I'm going to be trying this for the first time. They okay, good. Really good to play. Yeah, yeah you got, I got some more here. All right. Chop, chop, full pole chop. All right, we've been going around 12 minutes. Now it's time to add some more ingredients. This is smoked pork sausage. I personally love sausage in a bowl. A lot of people don't. Yep. And this is the part where we're putting some of Russ's favorite stuff and my favorite stuff in it. So that's what we're doing. We're mixing next up. Then we've got some green beans. Ain't nothing like a good old green bean. So we're gonna put, uh, like I said, that's why we put the extra seasoning, because we got a lot of extra stuff. So a lot of times I'll brown off the sausage before going in to render out a lot of fat. Didn't really do it this time, just kind of got caught up in time and everything. It's not gonna hurt your boil, if anything, it helps some crawfish feel oh, a little bit easier. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, then we got mushrooms. You can't go wrong with some good old spicy uh, flavored mushrooms. We're gonna put all, uh, we're just putting bags, we're just putting, Put a whole bunch of them in there because all they're going to do is shrink up so then they're going to take the spot of your crawfish so that takes a little while to boil so that's going to go in there now those are one of my favorite things Ooh, on any bowl. yes indeed you talk about sucking up that oh uh, yes that's right and that's what we're looking for today this is our extra little spicy bowl all right and just remember coming up uh we got a uh, special guest uh, coming in with a ball yeah, with boss. Ball boss. And we're gonna cool these down here like you're gonna get it, and uh, we're gonna put it to our test. On the last, the only video I've used the ball boss is back when Hurricane Nate was coming down on us, and I used it, and I was simply amazed by how quick it cooled that pot off. But uh, I've got the man himself here today that he's gonna explain to you really how to set it up, set it up properly, and how and why it works. All right, we got this now. We're gonna kick it back up here. We're gonna boil for a good another seven minutes with this. Then after that, we're gonna be putting our corn in. The last five minutes, you're gonna put your corn in. Then when that goes ready, them uh, mud bugs right there. Crawfish are, got one reason to live, to get in this Cajun hot tub. That's what they live for. We're gonna put it in a Cajun hot tub. All right. Hey, Robert, you wanna come over here and give me a hand? Yeah. All right, before we go in with these crawfish, we're gonna let this corn go in about five minutes. Now, try and get some of this Louisiana crawfish here. Yeah. And what we got here is nice selects. Nice selects crawfish here. So this is one sack going in. Come on, Boudreaux. You're coming in there. Boudreaux ain't getting away. All right, we're going to take this and uh, get a nice little stir. Get them babies in there. All right. All right, we have turned the fire off, crawfish, everything is done. All right, now Robert is going to show you exactly how this ball boss works. Yes, sir. And everything about it. Here we go. Yeah, so we just turned off the burner. These crawfish just stopped cooking. It's time to cool them down. We're just going to put this on the pot. So we're going to make sure this hose is not all coiled up. The way to put this on and keep these brackets flat, I'm just going to put it straight down the pot. Let it adjust itself, right? So once it's on, turn on the valve. It's going to spray the outside of the pot with water. So the key to the bull boss working, right, is once it's spraying, you get your paddle, you're just going to start stirring. So what stirring does is it agitates that water in the pot, gets that hot water in the center, out to the sides, touching the wall of the pot, cooling it off. So you'll notice all these crawfish are up here floating on the surface, right? So that's just telling you they're still cooking. Whenever they're floating, they're full of air. It's because we've cooked all the moisture out during the cooking process. So to reverse that, you're gonna drop that temp rapidly. It's gonna force those crawfish to contract and suck back all that juice, sink to the bottom. A lot of people ask us, you know, why don't you use a bag of ice? 
Um, so we found that in a 100 quart pot, a 10 pound bag of ice only got our temperature to about 185 degrees. So our target temp is a 150 mark. That's when that tail heat stops cooking. If you're above that, you're not soaking, you're cooking. All right, we've been going around a minute and a half. I'm gonna see what we got here with yeah. this instant read. We're at 190. So we're gonna keep going. You can see these crawfish are already starting to sink though. So it's just telling you they're sucking in the juice. So you'll see them start to sink, right? So a lot of people soak their crawfish 20, 30, 40 minutes or until they sink. The reason they're sinking is because that temperature is dropping so quick. So if you're waiting for them to sink, they're cooking the entire time. So we want to reverse that process, force those crawfish to sink right away, and then we can soak them to taste. You don't have to get overly aggressive with it, but you're just trying to get that water moving around. Hey Russ, you want to see where we're at? Yeah. One, 182. Almost 10 degrees real quick. Yeah, real quick. Wow. You know, the more you stir, the faster it cools. So if you just let this thing sit and spray, you're going to cool it. You're not going to cool as fast as you may want. So by agitating it, you're just speeding up the process. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say something about this. You okay. know, we've been doing our crawfish, how we've been with our hose right. soaking down. I'm constantly underneath it there while we got to do other stuff for our crawfish ball and all here right so uh just with that nine degrees within that quick impressed me so what that does was we can free you up from doing because i'm constantly there with my water hose right underneath there and we got other stuff to prep off get you know make sure they crowd or whatever here but uh man i gotta tell you i'm impressed right now i appreciate it my hand is here Completely cold, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's not hot or nothing like that here. Got that whole pot down, and that's impressive too. And it's been hot, and it takes a while to cool a pot down. Let's see that temp, yeah. Russ. I think we might be getting close. All right. That quick, you saying? Yeah. It's getting there. 155. Wow. A lot of guys ask me, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off, Russ, because yeah, I think we've cooled them. Yeah, a lot fun. of guys ask me, you know, why can't I just keep what I've been doing, spraying the pot? And that's what we did for a long time. Yeah, I've been doing it, yeah. Right, but the key is the combination of the spraying and the agitation at the same time. Right. So if you're just spraying, you're only cooling a specific area, that right? That's it. So yeah. They, yeah, this is all about spraying all the sizes at well, one time and stirring at the same time. So where hot water in the center is making its way to the cold outside. Yeah. I, I totally get it. We're, we're turning yeah. the pot into a heat exchanger. Right. Is that right? right? Yeah. I, I, I mean, I, I had to believe it. Just, I had to see it this, to believe this it. This is your first time seeing it? First time seeing it. I've been seeing it on your videos, but uh, being in person with the inventor here. Oh, you won't use look. ice again. No, I no. I want you to go ahead and taste that head. Suck the head on that crawfish. Even with, um, even without soaking them. Just here, go ahead and see how much juice is on. in them. Cajun crawfish. We're going to still eater. soak them, but. <laughs> <laughs> Take a hit. If anybody here never ate a crawfish before, fill the heads off there, and you want to just crush that. <laughs> Got some spice in it. See now, what well, I tasted is that celery. You know what we pureed? Yeah. But the, the season is there. It's down. Nothing compared to an overcooked crawfish. And remember, if you get a mushy crawfish, that is an overcooked crawfish. I don't care what anybody says. They overcook their crawfish. And you got to depend on size, how long to boil them too. These were selects. So we did go to an extra two minutes for right. the big selects. All right. Peel right out. Popped right out. Tell you what, Russ, I don't know we're going to take no 30 minutes to soak. No, they're, they're I'm going to say spicy. a good that's little That's why he's about 10 minutes. 10 minutes, and that's unreal. Yeah. Find up, Massaville from North Shore to South Shore, you got a good product, I man. I appreciate it. I appreciate that here, and uh, you just made a believer out of me after all these years. Look at that. Zoom up on that there. That's burning the daylights out of my hand, so I'm going to go ahead and put that out of there. But <laughs> <laughs> but they're, they're juicy. All right, so we're going to let these soak. I'm thinking 10 minutes. Normally I soak 20, 25 minutes, yeah. but these are not going to need it. It's not going to take it. And we're going to uh, spread them out here on the table behind us and we're going to partake. Cool. What do y'all think? Oh, yes. Sounds like a plan.
got them all on the table. I've already tasted them. I ain't going to lie about it. You talk about some good, hot, spicy crawfish just the way I like them. One crawfish, and I got it right there on my yeah. tongue. What do you guys think about it? Oh, man, Kevin, the flavor was good, just right, and we added the extra cayenne. Like I said, every customer or people, families are different with the spice content you want, and this time we up it up, and that's what we're going. They're peeling right off. Slip right out. Look at the meat, man. Pops right out. Right, right, right about out there. Mm. Then the ball boss right there. I tell you what, I, we want to do this video for him to prove us wrong. You know how I went. I already knew, man. I, I, I didn't know. I used it you before. Y'all might have caught that video I did with the shrimp. That's what convinced me of the ball boss. But uh, absolutely perfect crawfish. Got some people here. They're all fixing to partake, and we'll see what they think about yeah, it. Well. Like I said, man, look, uh, Andy, you. Press me, you prove me wrong. Uh, Robert, uh, me out, Robert. Check Jeez. it out, man. Enjoy it here. And uh, hey, we're going to have this Mississippi Louisiana feast going down. And yeah, Louisiana comes to Mississippi. Uh, that's here right here. Aye. Until next, next time, smoke your ribs. Raw bone cake and sauces. Full boss. Aye. Aye.